The familiar sound of Sonic's ringtone filled the air, and Sonic brought his head up from the comic book he was reading. He quickly got up and went over to his phone, seeing that somebody was calling him. He picked up his phone, then pressed the green button and held that same phone to his ear. Hello? Sonic asked. Hey, Sonic! The voice on the other line greeted him. Sonic recognized it right away and smiled. Hey, Sparkster! What's up? Sonic asked. He listened. Oh, that's cool. Sure, I'll come over. With that, Sonic hung up his phone and placed it in his pocket for later. He put his comic book away and then dashed out of his house. It didn't feel like even five minutes had passed before Sonic arrived at Sparkster's house. Then again, he was the fastest thing alive. Hey, Sonic. Thanks for doing this for me, Sparkster said. Don't mention it replied Sonic. So what do I gotta do? I just wanted to ask you to sweep my floors for me, Sparkster said. I do it myself, but, you know, I got a kingdom to save, bad guys to fight. So do you think you could do it for me? No problem, Sparkster, said Sonic. I'll make sure these floors are swept by the time we get back. Sparkster smiled. Thanks, Sonic. I knew I could count on you. A few minutes later, Sparkster had left, but first he gave Sonic a broom so he could start sweeping. Once the Rocket Knight was out of earshot, Sonic got to work. Sonic knew this wasn't the first time somebody had asked him to sweep the floors, so he didn't think it would be too hard. He was just pushing the broom here and there, making sure the ends touched the floor so they would push the dust out of the way. That being said, Sparkster really hadn't swept his floors in a while. It seemed like no matter where Sonic moved the broom, it was always enough to cause at least a little bit of dust to rise into the air. As the seconds rolled by, Sonic could see more and more dust begin to float into the air, and it wasn't long before he began to feel a tickle in his nose. Sonic looked down at his nose, seeing that it was beginning to wiggle around. He had a feeling he knew exactly what was going to happen. He was going to sneeze. Oh no, not now! Sonic thought to himself. Sonic turned his head away from the dust clouds, and then he began to sniffle, trying to get rid of the tickle in his nose. Each nasal inhale he took only succeeded in bringing the dust particles further and further into his nasal passages. As a result, the itching sensation in his nose only got worse. Sonic's eyelids lowered, and then he tilted his neck back as his breath began to hitch. Ah! 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 Sonic inhaled, his chest heaving with each breath. His nose continued to twitch here and there, and his nostrils began to flare a bit too. After a few seconds, however, the tickle that the dust had brought became too much for Sonic to take, and he brought his neck forward with one of his loud sneezes. Achoo! <sighs> Sonic groaned from the forceful sneeze, but unfortunately for him, his nose hadn't had enough relief. Before he could even bring his hand up to rub his nose, Sonic brought his neck back for a brief moment and then shot forwards with another sneeze, followed by a few more. Achoo! Choo! Achoo! Ugh! I hate dust, Sonic muttered, rubbing his nose with his forefinger. He took a couple of sniffles, trying not to bring any more dust into his nose. Once he thought his nose had had enough relief, Sonic pulled his hand away from his nose and tried to get back to sweeping. But less than 60 seconds later, the rising dust brought another tickle into his nose. And he found himself sneezing again. Three times, in fact. Achoo! 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 <sighs> Sonic sniffled again as he rubbed his nose with the back of his hand. He knew he had a sensitive nose, but this was kind of ridiculous. He could have sworn he wasn't allergic to dust. But as he took a deep breath and sighed to himself, a look of determination slowly appeared on Sonic's face. You know what? I've had enough of this, Sonic said to himself. This dust may make me sneeze, but I'm going to get these floors cleaned whether my nose likes it or not. He gave his nose one more big rub, hoping it would be completely satisfied, and then he got back to sweeping. 
This time he made sure to be as careful as possible so that he wouldn't cause any dust to rise. Sometimes he would feel another tickle in his nose, thanks to the dust, no doubt. But whenever he did, Sonic would stop sweeping, then bring one of his hands up to rub underneath his nose a few times, and he wouldn't stop until the tickle had died down. But sometimes he pressed his forefinger underneath his nose instead, and each time he did, he managed to keep himself from sneezing. Some time went by, and soon Sparkster had returned home from his adventure. At that point, Sonic was almost done sweeping the floors. Oh, hey, Sparkster, Sonic greeted him. I'm just finishing up here. I gotta say, Sonic, you did a pretty awesome job, said Sparkster. Thanks again for doing this for me. You're a really radical guy. No problem, Sparkster. It's the least I could do, Sonic kindly replied. As he swept the last of the dust away, however, a slight breeze from a nearby air vent sent that cloud of dust directly into Sonic's face. Sonic's eyes widened, and then his nose began to twitch again. He quickly put his forefinger underneath his nose before the buildup began again. Ah! 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 Before Sonic could sneeze, however, Sparkster reached up, pulled Sonic's finger away from his nose, and then placed his own forefinger underneath his nose. Almost as soon as he did that, Sonic's breath returned to normal, and he breathed a sigh of relief. Thanks, Sparkster, said Sonic. Sparkster smiled as he removed his hand from Sonic's nose. But about three seconds later, Sonic's eyes widened once again, and then he doubled over with another sneeze. Ah! Achoo! Luckily, the amount of air he expelled blew the dust away from him, and it didn't even make Sparkster sneeze either. But that didn't mean Sonic didn't have to sneeze again. Achoo! Achoo! Ah, ah, achoo! Sonic sneezed three more times, making sure to put his arm over his mouth each time he sneezed. His nose had turned a bit red by the time he'd finished sneezing, but at least he'd gotten the dust out of his nose. Whoa! Sparkster couldn't believe his eyes or his ears. He was not expecting Sonic to sneeze like that, let alone more than once. Dude, bless you! He said as Sonic rubbed his nose with his forefinger. Thanks, Sonic replied. You feeling okay? Sparkster wanted to know. Yeah, I'm okay, Sonic replied, sniffling as he continued to rub his nose. I just kind of had a hard time sweeping. The dust kept getting into my nose and making me sneeze. If I didn't know any better, I'd say I was allergic to dust. He then muttered to himself, which I probably am. Sparkster chuckled. I know how that feels. With that, Sparkster handed Sonic a tissue, and Sonic smiled gratefully as he wiped his nose with it. Even if they didn't know each other that well, Sonic was glad that he could count on Sparkster whenever he needed his help. Just as Sparkster was glad he could count on Sonic whenever he needed his help. The End <laughs>